Sorry, I gotta get my notes in. Um, good evening. So first off, big thanks to KDOX and to Janice for uh, programming my film, Jean Swanson, We Need a New Map, as well as my colleague Carmen Pollard's film, uh, Middleton Mother. I'm going to be introducing both films tonight because Carmen is on a ferry. She's almost here. She's having a great time. It's windy and cold, but she'll be, uh, she'll be here for the panel. Um, the two films that we are showing are part of the inaugural Citizen Minutes program, uh, which was a commissioned series of short documentaries by Hot Docs. Uh, we, the program started in 2020. We were the first group. Um, all of the films, all eight films were produced by uh, Lisa Jackson and Lauren Grant, uh, both of whom have ties to the Vancouver film community and who are just rad and awesome and amazing people. Uh, so, when I saw the call for proposals for that inaugural program, um, the program's emphasis being on civic engagement, I thought, well, duh, it's finally time to make a piece about my hero, Jean Swanson. Uh, Jean and I had met uh, back at the Poverty Olympics. I was working for a small uh, videography company called Working TV, and I can still picture Jean on stage. This very, I'm sure many of you have either met Jean or you've seen her speak in council or at events, but she's incredibly unassuming, but very forceful and speaks truth to power without mincing any words. Um, and I was immediately uh, seduced and hooked and wanted to be Part of her, part of her world. Her politics uh, made absolute sense to me, and I wanted, I wanted more of that. Um, I got to know Jean a little bit better a few years later uh, when I was researching my first feature documentary called *The Rankin File* about Jean's old friend and peer, uh, Harry Rankin. Uh, Jean helped me with the research for that film, as well as offering a fantastic interview. Um, and just really uh, <laughs> putting a lot in perspective, I think, in, in telling that story, uh, which is not only the story of Harry and Cope uh, and the amazing team that included Jean, but also of a very particular time in uh, Vancouver's civic history. So if you haven't seen uh, The Rankin File, I'm pretty sure you can find it somewhere. If you Google it, I'm sure it'll come up somewhere. It's on Knowledge Network from time to time. Um, in any event, I really got to know Jean better uh, in and around 2018. Uh, Jean decided to run for council back in 2017. Uh, she did so independently. She came incredibly close, incredibly close to being elected. Didn't happen in 17, but in 18, she decided to run with Cope. Uh, she needed a campaign video, and I luckily uh, got the job somehow. And uh, it was an introduction not only to where Jean was at that particular time, but also this incredible uh, community, mostly of young people who had been super attracted to, again, Jean's politics, her very crystal clear stances, um, her, her whole worldview around anti-poverty. Uh, organizing against poverty. So um, we did the video, Jean was elected, we had a wonderful time with her on council. <laughs> Unfortunately, you all probably know that things did change um, back in 2022. Uh, it's, yeah, I don't want to talk about that because I get really mad, and really sad. So let's talk about the film. Um, like I said, we had the call for proposals in 2020 and I got to make the film with Jean and early 2021, a little thing called COVID was happening. You probably remember, it still kind of is. Uh, we had to change the plans really quickly and pivot quite a few times because from the time that uh, I proposed a certain version of the film to when we were able to shoot, things had changed. Um, but hey, we've all been through COVID now. and We're all used to pivoting, pivot, pivot, pivot. Um, so I'm very proud of the film that we did uh, get to shoot in 2021 and release then. You know, Jean was a little shy and a little hesitant to have the spotlight put on her. If you know Jean, you'll know that's just part and part of her personality. But I managed to uh, convince her through saying, listen, your story is, is, is telling the story of the issues um, that you and your colleagues have been fighting for for, for decades. So in allowing us to, uh, hey, there she is. Hey, Jean. Yay. I'm just talking about you. I know you love it when I do that. <laughs> So luckily, she did agree, and now we have this, this seven-minute short documentary that you'll see tonight, and I hope that you, like me, are just as inspired continuously. Sure, things changed on city council. Sure, it's really terrifying and really upsetting, 
Um, but I think to what Jean has always said, that this is really about the long haul, and this might be a particularly negative chapter, but things are gonna change, because they have to. So that's a little bit about my film. I'm going to read a really brief statement from Carmen, if I can get my phone to work properly. Uh, a bit of a light. Here we go. Uh, so from Carmen. Uh, Carmen would like to acknowledge the incredible value of the work of these women, the militant mothers of Reimer, led by the incomparable Carolyn Jerome, have brought to East Vancouver for over 50 years an inspiration to us all to stand up on grassroots levels to fix problems we see in our own communities. If we don't, who the heck will? Lastly, Carmen wishes to share a quote from the late and glorious Jane Jacobs. Cities have the capacity of providing something for everybody only because and only when they are created by and for everybody. So I hope you enjoy these two films. Please do stick around. Uh, we'll be doing the joint panel, I believe, after Alice Street, a film I haven't seen, but I'm very excited to see. So uh, with that, thank you so much and enjoy the show.